But I will not do that until I appreciate my, my, my sister in person of uh, Sarah. Put your hands together for Sarah. Yes, yeah, she's my sister, right? And then Ambassador Lawrence too. Okay, and then um, all protocols do you observe. I'm a certified baggy brother by the grace of God. So uh, those who say we have been marginalized in the FCT, just watch out. So tell your friend, watch out. Watch out, B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take you very, very briefly. I have just 10 minutes to roll this thing down. Where I go to speak to people on university, I mean, university campuses and uh, let's say uh, platforms too in churches, I usually will ask them a simple question. Why do you think it is very difficult for people in Africa to tell their ages? So let's do the practical now. So look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor, how old are you? Man? No, quickly, 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 quickly. I have 10 minutes to do this. How old are you? You see, now listen. Most times, people find it difficult to express what their ages are, especially the ladies. You are 25 in 2015, 25 in 2016, you are 25 in 2017. I mean, there should be some metamorphosis, is that not so? Yes, yeah. But then I have come to discover generally that in Africa we find it very difficult, especially in Nigeria, to express our ages. Do you know why? Because our ages and our accomplishments are not commensurate. So why a young boy who is in high school is already designing a software that can, that can produce a market calculator there's somebody in the high institution, a tertiary uh, institution in Nigeria, who is still struggling to understand the codes of what to do with. I'm telling you practical experiences, I won't mention the school. Hello, are you getting what I'm saying? So well, I, I just want to take you through wealth creation, and those things that are thinking, yeah, you're thinking in your mind, that are running in your thoughts right now, and you went down there to write them down, they are coming from one problem, and I want to tell you the problem today before I run this thing very quickly. The problem is simple. When we were getting amalgamation in 1914, and we we're getting, um, what do you call that in 1960? Shout it now. Uh, independence. Actually, we never got independence. If we ever got independence, it was the independence of the physique, but not of the mind. Because the independence of the mind tells you how to be innovative and inventive. But because we are not innovative, neither are we inventive, we are actually free only to shout, but not freedom to create. So the, the British people knew exactly what they were doing to us. So they released us and said, just go. So at the end of the day, you discover that whatever we create, whatever we do from the cellar rack our children take, or the kind of clothes we wear, and the kind of houses we build, all of them look like the West. Do you know why? Because the Westerners knew that we were just like circus elephants. And what, what is wrong with a circus elephant? A circus elephant at the age of one is kept in one position, tied in one position, fed in one position, only to be used for circus activity on the stage. And no matter how big it is, when I was growing, I was watching circus, um, uh, uh, circus programs, I discovered that these elephants stand in one position till the program is over. And I was thinking myself, how big this elephant is? Why is standing in one position till the program is over? I discovered that the elephant was dealt with from childhood. Are you getting the point now? So while it is standing on stage, it is still thinking that the rope that was tied in right from child, but is still there. That's what we call mental captivity. Now ask your friend, are you truly free? Free. No, they are not asking. They are not asking. Ask your friend, are you truly free? Truly now, let me just run this thing. Wealth creation and true innovation engaging your mental faculty. I don't know what you were expecting us to talk about today because the, the conference is tapped. What? The think tank. So, everything that you're going to be doing here, if you are not thinking, you have not started, you have not even come for this program. Hello? I think everyone I'm saying. So, it's a think tank. Tanks are not meant for jokes. Tanks are actually things that are filled with water, three of us. Oh, they are not trying to three of us. So that's what we're talking about. So it is engaging your mental faculties. All the faculties in your mandula of Langata, you have to begin to visit them and do some surgical operation. Hello, are we together? Now let me run this thing very quickly. Now, I want two people to tell me exactly what you observe from that stage. Look at it very closely. What do you observe? Just two. I think there are three analyses there, but let's, let's go with two. What do you observe? I will send you a recharge card if you answer this question. I tell you, if you answer exactly what's in my mind, after I leave here, I'll send you a recharge card. I don't care where you're coming from. <laughs> yes, what do you observe from here? Sorry. What do you observe? Somebody wants to tell me something? Do you see anything? Okay, the ball is in front. Okay, thank you. You know I can't send you a recharge card, sir. 
<laughs> I will actually collect some for you. All right. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, there is a ball ahead, yes? What else do you see? I want entrepreneurs here. What do you see from this thing? Yes, sir? There's a struggle. Yes, I see struggle too. What else? What else? Okay, thinking about the ball. All those things sound like salmon to me. Now, let's go down. There are two things, so majorly, majorly three things that are happening here. The same color applies to all the shapes that these people are pushing. It's the same color, but the shape is different. Secondly, the people pushing, the things pushing the images, are actually all of them are human beings, three of us. They're all in blacks, is that not so? But that the one in the circle is ahead, and we discovered that the one, in the, the one with the circle is ahead, and the one with the squares are backwards. The guy with the circle knows that it was the same materials that the, that the, that the cubes used to create, but he just changed his own style. And that's why he's ahead. So clap for the guy now, clap for the guy. I wish it was you. Let me run this thing. So, what do you observe? We have observed the creativity is the ability to think and act in ways that are new and novel. And then in our minds, there are two kinds of creativity, innovation and invention. Those are the kinds of creativity. Let's move on. Look at those things there. You see that creativity produces inspiration, vision, idea, brainstorming session, mind, imagination, uh, innovation, motivation, and knowledge. All these things are constituents of what? Creativity. Are we together? Let's move. What do you see from the picture? <laughs> Very funny picture. When I saw it, I was just laughing. The first guy says there is rain. There is recession everywhere, three of us. Is there no recession? There is rain everywhere. But the guy says, okay, yes, there's rain. All I need to use my umbrella for is to protect myself from rain. But the next guy said, yes, even as I'm protecting myself from rain, I want to channel the rain to produce water for me. Whoa, I don't know whether there are entrepreneurs here. Is it hitting you hard? Are you getting what I'm saying? So when people are busy crying, recession up and down, I am not recessed. At least I don't look like that. Hello, are you getting what I'm saying? These people here, they don't look recessed. No wonder they are doing think tank. Are you getting what I'm saying now? How can you be recessed in a recessed? It, 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 it's a recession is a thing of the mind. Forget the noise. So this guy decided to do his own differently. So innovation is thinking creatively about something that already exists. So we are not asking you to go and get something from somewhere. The raw material is the same. Are we together? Linda Ikeji. Eh? Emanuela. How many of you know Emanuela? Tell me you don't, we'll just chase you out of this. Do you know Emanuela? Yes. Aha, so Emanuela now is used by NEPA, used by other people to do what? To do adverts. Tell me in this world, Emanuela, is she a university student? No, Emanuela is a millionaire. Thinking, creative thinking. She just went and refurbished something and then she's doing it. Tell your friends, start to create videos of yourself now. <laughs> Okay. All right, so what about invention? Invention is creating something that did not exist before. We know that, and look at your head there, that's your head. Creativity begins with the mind. What ideas are you thinking about right now, before we leave this place? What ideas are you thinking about? And what do you want to do about those things? Now let's throw down innovation. What do you see there? This was the first telephone, or the first era telephone. Look at it. I'm sure if somebody gives you this as a wedding gift, you will insult the person. Uh, you see that stuff there? So that's, that's almost the first telephone. How about that one? This is the high-tech telephone of our age. Some of us here, we have not even got it. Is that also? But some people have it already. It's like a band. You just put it like this, like this stuff. But it's, it's actually a telephone. Go to Switzerland and other places, they're already using it. That is what? Let's go ahead. How about this? Look at it. Look at the first car by Ben Cow. That car does not look like anything as a gift, as a gift material. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But today, by metamorphosis and by creative thinking, people came about this one. This one is the next one to happen. This is the latest, the next car that is going to be coming very soon. As long as the roads are put in place, they will start producing these ones. In fact, it's even here because it's produced already. Hello, are we together? That is the car evolution. How about this? How about this? This is the first plane, but let's say second edition plane by the Wright brothers. The Wright brothers came together and they did something like this and then today, people hinged and leveraged upon what they did and today, what do we have? Look at what we have. But well, then let's go further a bit. Can you see what we are going to be having in the future? These are personal jets. Look at that one here. This is the future of mobility. Do you see the police? Do you see the police there? 
You discover that this is what they are going to be using in tracing crime. You cannot call it a motor, car, aeroplane, bicycle. You don't know what the name is. The name is just there like that, but look at it. That's exactly what's going to be happening. But do you know what happened? It is innovative thinking. Come on, tell your friend innovative thinking. Innovative. Innovation. You don't need to invent anything. All you need to do is to do what? To innovate. Actually, we don't have inventors. God is the almighty inventor, three of us. And that's why he never gave anybody a chair. He gave you trees to make a chair, three of us. And that's the reason why God rested in the seven days, because he discovered he has created a creator. That's what I thought. I don't know about you. No, so we will never be able to solve the problems of, the, of tomorrow with the thinking of today. That's Albert Einstein. Do you agree? If you agree, say yeah. yeah. Yes. And that's what our sister talked about. Too many people are trying to approach the problems of this technological age by thinking with the old methodologies. They aren't working. They're not working anymore. Even child discipline is not working the way it used to work before. Three of us. So it actually has to go back to how we think. So change how you think. I'm rushing. So what is desire? What do we see about innovation? There are actually three circles there, but then there are other facets to it. What is desirable to users? You begin to think. You, you write before you leave this place. Write down some of these things. Do you know one thing about think tank? I mean conferences, not just think tank conferences. It's a place to steal ideas. Sorry. Hello, are we together? It's a place to do what? To steal ideas. That's why I come for conferences. I attend conferences quite a number. I used to go like a mad person. I go for conferences a lot, even while I was in school. Lecture-free moments were not lecture-free for me. I'm back here in Abuja, attending one conference or the other. Hello, are you getting what I'm saying? But it's a place to steal ideas. As the guy is singing there now and he's worried, he say, okay, fine, I know what I will do. I will do my own in Yoruba language. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? Before you know, you're on the internet. So number one thing you will do when you are doing innov innovative thinking, number one, what is desirable by the users? You study your environment, what is desirable? The second thing, what is possible with technology? What is possible? Is there anything that is not possible with technology? Except a resurrection of a human, a human being. Is that also? Is that also? Okay. Now the next thing, what is valuable in the marketplace? What is sellable? What is that thing that people want to buy in the market? Okay? Now, somebody wrote, it says, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can what? Can achieve. So it begins with what your mind believes. Look at this one. Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and look like work. Hello, are we together? That's opportunity for you. It looks like work. So people don't like work. People don't like to think. I like the last presentation. We don't like to think. So they are dressed like overalls. So at the end of the day, we just bypass them and just want to do the, next, the simple things. And at the end, when you do simple things, you discover that you are, you are, you are going out of, out of the way. Learn to recognize opportunities. Now, if someone offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, just say yes, then learn how to do it later. Everything can be learned these days. If you don't take risks, you will always work for someone who does. Non-risky is more risky. If you don't understand people, you don't understand business. That's Simon Sinek. Try to understand people. You are today where your thoughts have brought you. You will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. That's by James Allen. Your thoughts matter most. I don't think there are questions, but I want to end by this statement by a friend I met six, more than 10 years ago in person of Ada Paul from Benway State. And he says, education does not make you so civilized that you command respect from the world. Education makes you so civilized that you, you meet the need of the world. Education doesn't make you civilized that you run away from the primitiveness of your people. Where education makes you so civilized that you save your people from primitiveness. If you are not productive in the presence of unemployment, then you are an educated robot. But if you are productive despite unemployment, you are an educated person. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Come on, come on.